Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey, everybody. That guy there is Dustin. This is Keith. Yeah. Music, bourbon. Music, yeah. Music, bourbon. Bourbon. And bribe. We do. We have a bribe. Anonymous bribe? Anonymous bribe. Oh. Huh. Copper still. Copper still. I ain't never heard of this. Indiana. It's an, oh, it's an Indiana it's bourbon? It's an Indiana. It says Indiana right there, babe. Is it a bourbon? Yes. Huh. Uh, wait. No? No. Oh. It's a rye. Oh. It's a single barrel rye. I tend to like ryes, and single barrels are always kind of intriguing because they vary. Yep. That's so, what we like about them. Yeah. Yeah. It can be a little different from barrel to barrel. Yeah. Uh, but we would have to drink enough of this. To know. To know the difference between one barrel or another. That's right. It'd take, it'd take a, at least a couple bottles, probably. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Uh, or... Testing them side by side. Uh, so the song that came with this is Jason Aldean, uh, Flyover States. Have we done a Jason Aldean? It sounds... I don't know. The name rings a bell to me. Let me see. I'll, I, I will go check. Can I get your knife? Yeah. I'm actually looking to see if we've done one of his yet. We did Dirt Road Anthem by him. Okay. And I remember liking that. All right. So, so yeah, maybe we're in for another good tune. Hopefully. If you manage to get if that. If I ever get this bottle open. Struggling with that thing. It's like, look at the cork. <laughs> it's way down in there. Dude. <laughs> There's like six feet of cork down in the bottle. It's in, it's like, I, I still haven't got to the bottom of the cork. What? What? You freed the lid, I right? freed the lid, correct. There it goes. Well, I'm not surprised that that was a very nice pop. It had a great, look at, look at the suction on that thing. <laughs> Terrifying. Get me excited. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. All right, let's 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 hear the tune before you get Red Rocket. Right. Wow. You give me shit for taking it a direction, then you just turn it up to 11. <laughs> That's what we do here on Perfect Country Remix.
Y'all see that face? Keith is currently thinking something horrible. Yeah, man. So, I'm... You get what you get on this channel. You know that. I'm, I'm loving the message of this song. Okay. I'm loving the vocal delivery. Really? I, the vocals? Yes. Huh. I'm loving the vocal delivery. But it's going to tie to the thing that's going to take everyone off. Okay. This is Country Nickelback. No, no. I'm going to back it up. No. <laughs> and you're going to hear the freaking Nickelback. No. Wait. Got to go back. <laughs> This video. <laughs> yeah, they're not. They're gonna hate it. They're gonna hate this one. We're gonna okay. get we're gonna get so much hate in the comments. I can already hear it come. But I love the message of the song. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Like that message is a, very little pisses me off. Like the coastal bubbles. Yep. And the elitism mm -hmm. that comes out of New York and Los Angeles and coin the term flyover states. Well, yeah, because they don't think anything in the middle matters. Right. Um, so so uh, I love the message in the song. 100%. Kind of hate the delivery. It was rough. I was actually... So before you turned it up to 11 with Country Nickelback, I was going to say that like I actually didn't like the vocals or the instrumentals specifically because it sounded so engineered. Oh, super engineer. Dude. Which is a trademark of Nickelback songs. <laughs> and man, uh, I, got, I got nothing, dude. Like, do you think it sounds different when they do it live? I would think it would kind of have to. That was so engineered. It, it would have to sound different live. Maybe we need to go find a live version but in, initially i was kind of enjoying the vocal delivery and then after because i was so focused on the music behind it mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and i'm like what band am i hearing here mm -hmm. and then it kind of popped up in my head and i'm like well this isn't good then <laughs> after <laughs> and i saw it happen his face was like Oh shit! <laughs> and, and then and then after that popped up, I started hearing the Nickelback whiny vocals, uh, and I, I'm I'm sorry, this song is not for me. This I think the song could be better. The song, it's the lyrics. I want to hear it turned into a bluegrass song. Hmm. I want to hear something much more acoustic Gritty. and raw, more gr Yes, yes. 
Because it wasn't gritty at all. And this is, like, this kind of message should be a little bit about grit. Right? It should be gritty. It should be dirty. Yeah, because that's what they're talking about. Yeah. But this wasn't. It was like, this fucking, was this, this is like ceramic coat on your fucking fast car. I, I ca- <laughs> Wow. Tell me I'm wrong. I kind of doubt this song was even recorded in Nashville. This sounded like L.A. It, it, it was wow. like, this is what people in L.A. think us country bumpkins want to hear. Oof. Song's actually a little insulting. Oh, from that, if because of the way it was done. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm, the, that's speculation. The lyrics are right. great. The lyrics, lyrics, the, the songwriting is good. Somebody screwed that up. And I think we like the first Jason Aldean. I don't know. I love Dirt Road Anthem. So what the hell was this about? Well, we know what it's about. It's about us and the flyover states, it's, but... It's about... He, what was with that studio, man? Yeah. What were they trying to do? That was... Yeah. Yeah. Was this at peak Nickelback time? Were they trying for that sound? Oh, my God. Were they trying to make was it sound like... Was there peak Nickelback like, time? Oh, yeah. Were they trying to make it sound like Creed? <laughs> oh, my God. No, it looked newer than that. Creed was like... uh, What? 2000... Uh, Nin- early late nineties, early two thousands, I think. Yeah, but this looked newer than that. What about the? Hold up, I got one more thing, and then we'll stop talking about this song. We're getting ourselves in a lot of trouble with our viewers. They're gonna be angry. We just we just called the herd. <laughs> that happens occasionally. Get those. Go watch uh, Home Fry. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't get them stirred up. Nope. All right, uh, so w- one more thing, and it's about the video. And this just is like the cherry on the top, okay? The, f- the fucking airplane fucking tarmac with like four airplanes around them. Come on. What? what? And I love airplanes, but that, come on, that was weak sauce. <laughs> it kind of was. It was. I was like, mm. So we hated on that song a lot. <laughs> At least they weren't F sixteens or something. Oh fuck, dude. That would have been terrible. We would have not been happy. We would like <laughs> we're funny right now. We would have been like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, no. All right, let's talk about this copper still because I'm done with that song. You haven't even tried it. You couldn't get past the nose. The nose smells like somebody pooped on a tulip. No. It does not. Yeah, but somebody's going to poop on your tulip. It's got some florals, but there's something in there that does not smell good. I'll promise you this. The nose is a little weird, but it tastes better than it smells. Okay. Well, the bar's low. <laughs> How is that possible? Tastes way better than it smells. Like, mm-hmm. way better. Way better. This is good. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, that delicious raw pepper. Yep. So this is uh, <laughs> this has got a lot of florals up front. Yeah, it's got florals in the nose too. If you really kind of pick it no, apart, I don't smell that. I, you I gotta really gotta pick don't. it apart. I, Mm-hmm. I smelled it. It smelled like somebody put a cigarette out on a car tire. What? I take a drink. Uh huh. It's good. Yeah. I come back for the nose after the drink, and all I get are florals. No cigarette car tire. <laughs> so it was funny is I took a hit of the nose, and I was like, "Ooh, okay," because the nose is weird. There's still some car tire in there. I'm not going to lie. But it's like a floral car tire. <laughs> All right. But then you take a drink and you're like, wait a minute. That's good. That was unexpected. Florals and citrus up front. Vanilla on the mid. 
sweet, super sweet finish. Almost no oak finish in there. A little bit. Just a touch. Just a touch. Yeah. And it sits for a while. And then. And then the rye pepper just rolls in something like, what would you say? Like ten a sucker seconds? punch. Ten yeah. seconds later. And then it hits hard. Yeah, and it comes on strong. It's like. Poof. This is good stuff. I have no idea what was paid for it. I do. Do you? Mm-hmm. Well, I'll take a guess, though. You'll take a guess? I'll take a guess at what it costs. Okay. Well, let's... I'll tell you what I'd pay for. Well, before we get there. So, this is, again, Copper Still. It's an Indiana straight rye whiskey. Single barrel. Uh, what? Hmm. Is it MGP? Uh, it doesn't tell me, but it does tell me then that, that, so the reason I'm not, uh, it doesn't tell me, it does tell me who bottled it. Who bottled it? Best Vineyards. Never heard of them. Me either. I mean, apparently they're in Elizabeth. I don't even know where that is. I don't either. (laughs) And I'm from here. (laughs) So, it's aged three years. Okay, that's why we're not getting that oak. Correct. Uh, And it is 95% rye. So this is a legit rye. Correct. Um, And it tastes like it. There, There are some, like a lot of times you get vanilla notes with ryes. They're there. Um, play proof game? Yeah, play it. While you're proofing. Our rye whiskey is made of 95% rye mash and aged for three years, creating a well-balanced drink full of spice and intense caramel and toast notes. Cuts For a rye, this is really smooth. It is, actually. Rye's tend to, that pepper hits you. With this one, it doesn't hit you until you've been sitting on the finish for a good long while. Yep. So I don't feel like I'm going to get thrown. Uh, I'm going to go low. And I'm going to say it's 85 proof. How far? I'll, I'm, I know I'm wrong. You're 90. 90? That's uh, 90 proof. But they actually say on here, it's copper. smooth for 90. It is smooth for 90. Absolutely. Yeah. They say it is a perfect rye whiskey for a well-balanced Manhattan or Old Fashioned, which I could definitely see that. It's got enough power in it yep. to, like, you're going to know you're drinking yep. a, a good rye. I think, I don't know about a Manhattan, but definitely in an Old Fashioned, this would be really good. Yeah. Um, and it's just fine to drink neat. Mm-hmm. It um, really is. So, I'd pay forty five or fifty for this. I'd pay seventeen ninety nine and not a penny more, but it was actually twenty six ninety nine. Oh, that's a steal. Twenty seven bucks? Yeah, that's a steal if you like rice all day long. If you're not a rye fan, this may be a good way to introduce yourself to them. In a Manhattan or like, if you're gonna mix this, it it this may be a good way to enter if you don't if you don't know rise this may be a good way this bottle may be a good way to introduce yourself to rise because it's it's got it's, lots of rye flavor it's priced right and it's not punishing at all uh, some rise can be punishing you're not wrong about that this i would say as a starter rye though it does have a little bit more kick than i would well, for a starter rye, you, you point people at Woodford. It's not a rye, but it's got just that touch Enough of rye, rye pepper. Yeah, right. This would be maybe your next step. Yeah. If you like whiskey, right? Like, if if, it, if it's some person coming up to you and they're like, I don't know anything about whiskey, I've never had it, but I've always wanted to try rye. I don't know that I'd give them this one. Because it's got a lot of flavor, and they if they don't know what they're getting into, they'll be like, I don't like it. <laughs> right? Maybe, maybe. So, But it's pretty good. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe. Drop down in the comments. Tell us what songs we need to check out. Tell us what North American whiskeys we need to try. Or bribe us. Or bribe us. And we'll see you next time.